Yeah, man, welcome back, everyone. You know, this is Nicola Media Osman. Match reaction Manchester United versus Brighton at Old Trafford, man. Oh my god, it was a dreadful game as United lost 3 1, man. You know, United third defeat of the season so far. You know, United is what six points, um, around nine points off the leaders. You know, Manchester City, you know, they won five from five, but look, man. That first half, man, it was it was horrible. You know, it was slow. I don't know what's going on. Um, Eric Tenag, you know, he, he he switched the formation a little bit. I think he went um that four three one two formation, something like that. Four four two diamond, you know. But I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. As you know, Casemiro is looking dreadful in that first half, and he's looking like you know he's really legged. You know, Casemiro played what two games um over the international break for Brazil. Um one game at home for Bolivia and they traveled to um Peru, um to Lima, you know, altitude. So I don't know what's what's going on, but man, look, the team was flat, you know, the team was poor defending man Brighton, give them credit, man. Brighton pick United apart every time they attack. You know, each time Brighton go down that it doesn't matter if they left. Are the right flank, you know, they always look to pass what the ball on top of the 80. And United seems that they didn't have any answer to that man. You know, both wing backs were really poor attacking and defending for United in that first half. And you know, Dalot and uh, Sergio Regulan wasn't enough, you know, overlapping to give threats going forward. As when when you playing, you know, as a system like that, you know, you need two full backs. For, for um to attacking going forward you know give you the whip and the and, and both flanks but you know it wasn't enough man it wasn't enough and um uh, Ericsson man you know his build up play it was so slow he didn't even create you know Bruno Fernandes already created you know two chances in that game and, you know Rashford was the only one that looking like you know he was trying to make things happen you know he was playing down that left side drifting out to wide from that um striker position but look it just didn't work out, man. He just didn't work out. You know, he, he crossed that ball for Rasman Holland to score, but you know that ball went out. But Rasman Holland, you know, it was it was decent. You know, his after ball movement it was really good. He didn't get enough ball, you know, in the channels where he could run. A couple of times I saw United got that breakaway and you know the ball didn't go into his channel. You know, so but look, the coach have to take some blame for this. You know. The, the substitution it was really poor. How how can you take off Rasman Holland? You know someone that's running off the ball, someone that is creating space for for the midfielders to run into the box, someone that giving the defender something to think about. And you brought on Anthony Marcel. You need a goal. I mean, you took Casimir off. You know I could understand that, but you have to take someone and say you have to leave Rasman Holland on the pitch. You know Holland play um for Denmark over the international break. I think one game he played 45 minutes and next one he played 35 um 35 minutes but look man what you did you know Garnacho should have came on the pitch Pelestri should have came you can't tell me because Garnacho went to um La Paz you know in Bolivia for Argentina he only played five minutes of of, of um international minutes during his time away with Argentina, only five minutes he played. He didn't play in the home game against Ecuador. He played five minutes against Bolivia in La Paz. And Darwin Nunes came on the pitch for Liverpool in the 58 minute today. And he played, I think he played, um, he played at Ecuador, he played at Ecuador at Quito. Quito is over 9,000 um, feet above sea level. And he played home to, um, I think, Colombia versus Uruguay. So you can't tell me that these players who played in those games, you know, were, weren't tired. Look, Ghana to have to um start this game for me. I'm sorry, but that was a that was an error, you know, substitution. Everything was poor from Eric Tenag. His, his tactics were poor. The the way how he set up his team um was poor. You know, Linda Lafman and and, and and Martinez, man. Oh my god, it was dreadful defending, man. Dreadful defending us, you know. Brighton, each time Brighton got that ball, you know, on the wing, are attacking, are in that attacking position. Welbeck and Lalana is giving United a lot of problems when they drop in the hole as we are playing with three midfielders. 
McTominay, Casimir and Ericsson and none of them could have picked up Lalana and Danny Welbeck, man. I, I, I don't know what to say. It was really poor, you know, marking the Brighton players. But look, who does to Roberto deserve it? You know, Brighton is doing exceptional well in the Premier League. You know, you could see the pattern of play. You couldn't see. You, you can't even see what United was trying to do in that game. Everything was just poor, you know, but... Look, man, I'm very, I'm very uh, frustrated right now, you know, United supporter. But look, Bayern Munich next in the Champions League. And then, you know, we travel to third one, you know, but peace out, man. <laughs>